Okay, so what we're going to work on today is solving exponential equations. All right, so take a look at number one and uh, to try this. It says solve for x. So it has here 2 to the fourth is equal to 2 to the x. So what does x have to be? So remember, it's an equation, and whatever you have on one side has to be the same thing as on the other side. So if on the left side I have 2 to the fourth, and on the right side, I have 2 to the x. They both have to be the same. So if they both have a base of 2, and that's the same, then what has to be special about these two exponents in order for them to be equal? Yes, they have to be the same. So x has to be equal to 4. All right, so let's take a look at the one on the right side, number 2. 3 to the x is equal to 3 to the fifth. So they both have a base of 3. They have to be the same in order for them to be equal. So if this is x and this is 5, then x has to be equal to 5. Makes sense, right? So now let's talk about different types of exponents. So take a look at uh, number 1, solving exponential equations. So if you have the same base, it's pretty basic. It's exactly what we did in the try this, if they have the same base. So look at this over here on the right. I have 5 to the x plus 8 equals 5 to the negative x minus 2. So they have the same base. They're both base. They both have a base of 5. So if they have to be equal to each other and they both have a base of 5, then what has to be special about these exponents? Well, then the exponents have to be equal. So x plus 8 has to be equal to negative x minus 2. All right, and now you're just going to solve this. So I'm going to add x. 2x plus 8 equals negative 2, minus 8. 2x is equal to negative 10. x is equal to negative 5. Okay, so let's take a look at the second example over here on the left side. Just move this stuff out of the way. All right, so the same thing, I have 3 to the x squared minus 3 is equal to 3 to the 2x. So they have the same base. So if they have the same base, then my exponents are equal to each other. So that would mean x squared minus 3 is equal to 2x. All right, so now you have to solve for x. So it is an exponential. It has to equal 0, so I'm going to to minus 2x. x squared minus 2x minus 3 is equal to 0. Okay, so now I'm going to solve this. So I'm going to multiply the first times last. I get negative 3x squared. So what multiplies to 3 minus is to a 2. That would be 3x, negative 3x and 1x. I'm going to do that up here. And bring down the end in the front. And now we will factor by grouping. The GCF of the first group is x times x minus 3. And GCF is positive 1 times x minus 3. So my factors are x plus 1 and x minus 3 equals 0. T-chart, we get x is negative 1. Oops. x is negative 1 and x is equal to positive 3. Okay, so now the issue is going to be uh, when we have different bases. So this is pretty basic. It's no big deal. You have the same base. They're equal to each other, so you have to set the exponents equal. So it's when we have different bases that that's the issue. All right, so when we have different bases, you have to, you have to get the bases to be the same thing. All right, so now you can never, ever go from a small base up to a large base. So take a look at this. I have 2 to the x minus 1 is equal to 8 squared. All right, so you never, ever want to take your small base and bring it up to a large base, okay? You can only take your, your big base and bring it down. So for example, you cannot take 2 and write it as 2 to the third power because 2 to the third power, yes, it is 8, but it's not 2. This has to still be the number 2. And now if you do 2 to the third, you're changing 2 to an 8. You can't do that, all right? So what you need to do is you have to find another way to represent the number 8, but it's still the number 8. It's just visually written differently. So another way to write 8 would be to use a base of 2. So 2 to what power is 8? 2 to the third. See, I didn't change, I didn't change this number. This number, this number here is still the number 8. I didn't change it, I just changed what it looked like. Okay, so this is 8. 
All right, so now what do I have to raise my eight to? It says raise eight to the second power. So I raise that to the second power. And this side will stay the same, two to the x minus one. And when, what do we do when we have a power to a power? We multiply the power. So two to the x minus one is equal to two to the sixth power. So now I have the same base. They're both base two. So what do I do? I set the exponents equal. x minus one equals six. So x is equal to seven when I add one to both sides. Okay, sometimes, sometimes you'll have to change both bases. So for instance, take a look at the next one. Okay, 9 to the x plus 1 is equal to 27 to the x power. So you cannot take 9, this is a common mistake, taking 9 and raising it to the third power. Because people think, oh yeah, 9 times 3 is 27. Yes, 9 times 3 is 27, but 9 to the third is not 27. Okay, so that you can't do. Um, so look at the larger number, 27. Is there a way to write 27 with a base of 9? So 9 squared, is that 27? No, 9 squared is 81. That's already too big. So there's no way to write 27 with a base of 9. So then if you can't do that, what you have to do is change both bases. So it's easier to work with the smaller number first. So what's another way to write 9? 3 to the second power. That is 9. Now what does it say I have to raise my 9 to? I have to raise 9 to the x plus 1 power equals. What's a way to write 27 with a base of 3? 3 to the third power is 27. And then what do I have to raise 27 to? To the x power. So remember, power to a power, you have to multiply the power. So this is 3 to the 3x. And then over here, make sure you distribute the 2. That's a common mistake. Kids forget to distribute the 2. So this is 3 to the 2x plus 2. Now they have the same base. They're both base 3. So I am going to now set them equal to each other. All right, so we have 2x plus 2 is equal to 3x minus 2x. 2 is equal to x. All right, so let's take a look at the other one over here. All right, so this one is a little bit more challenging because one of my bases, I have a base that's a fraction. It's a fractional base. It's one-fourth to the x power equals 8 to the 1 minus x power. So the first thing you want to do whenever you have this fractional base is you want to change this so that it's not a fraction anymore. Remember, to move a number that's in the denominator up to the numerator is to change the sign of its exponent. 4 has an exponent. It has an exponent of a 1. So remember, to move it to the numerator... Right, so I want to move this up. I change the sign of the exponent. So 4 to the first becomes 4 to the negative 1. Raised to the x power equals 8 to the 1 minus x. So this here, right, power to a power, that becomes 4 to the negative x. Okay, so now I want to get my bases to be the same. I cannot write 8... I cannot write 8 as 4 squared. 4 squared is 16. It's not 8. Okay, and I can't take 4 and do 4 squared and say that's 8. That doesn't work. Okay, so you're going to have to change both bases. So what's another way to write 4? 2 squared. 2 squared is 4. And then it says I have to take 4 and raise it to the negative x power. And another way to write 8 would be 2 to the third. That's my 8. And then I have to raise 8 to the 1 minus x power. All right, so this guy over here on the left, that becomes 2 to the negative 2x equals 2 to the 3 minus 3x power. All right, so now they have the same base. They both have a base 2, so I take the exponents. Negative 2x equals 3 minus 3x, set them equal. And now we're going to solve. So I'm going to add 3x. So x is equal to 3. Okay, so that's it, and uh, we'll practice more in class tomorrow. Okay, have a good night.